one term cannot exceed five years. Further, no reappointment of managing director, whole time director, or manager shall be made not earlier than one year before the expiry of his term. So now, if he is appointed for five years, so his reappointment can be cannot be made earlier than the fourth year. So, like we cannot say that that today we have appointed a director and today only we resolve we we decide not resolve we decide to reappoint the director for another term of five years. That is not that that case is not possible actually. So he can be reappointed not earlier than the fourth year in this case that we talked about. Next section, next part in this section is it says. It talks about the various disqualifications for the appointment of managing director, disqualifications for the appointment of managerial personnel. Managerial personnel we are referring here to is MD, manager and whole time director of the company. So we have four disqualifications here. The first one being a person who is below the age of 21 years below 21 years or who has attained the age of 70 years that is 70 years or above further it says that a person who has attained the age of 70 years may be appointed as managing director whole time director or manager if now this person can be appointed if SR is passed that is special resolution is passed Plus, an explanatory statement is annexed to the notice. Explanatory statement annexed to the notice, which will indicate the justification for appointing such person. This was the first disqualification. A person below 21 years or a person who has attained the age of 70 years cannot be appointed as managerial personnel but a person of 70 years or above can be appointed provided special resolution is passed and explanatory statement is annexed to the notice which says which justifies the appointment of a person above the age of 70 years coming to the second point that we have here is a person who is an undischarged insolvent undischarged insolvent or who has at any time been being adjusted as an insolvent or at any time adjusted as an insolvent this was the second disqualification coming to the third disqualification we have is a person who has at any time suspended payment to his creditors or makes or has at any time made a composition with the creditors suspended payment to creditors suspended payment or made composition with creditors composition means that the creditor accepts the part of a debt in satisfaction from the debtor in a case of composition Coming to the fourth and the last disqualification under this section we have is a person who has at any time been convicted by court of offense and sentenced for a period of more than six months that is convicted by court and this is and and not or Sentenced for period more than six months. So any person on whom these disqualifications are not applicable can be appointed as a managing director, manager or whole time director in a company. So this was about the disqualifications. 
now now coming to the approvals that are required for the appointment of managing director hall time director or manager coming to another part is approvals all this is covered in section 196 only so it says that the managerial personnel that is the managing director hall time director or the manager who shall appoint them they shall be appointed by the board of directors the terms and conditions of such appointment and remuneration shall be approved by the board of directors at a meeting and this shall be subject to approval by resolution at the next general meeting so we can say that the managing director hall time director or manager are appointed by the board of directors and then which shall be subject to approval it has to be approved by the members in general meeting now next thing that comes is this approval it shall also be subject to approval by central government in case the appointment is at variance to the conditions in schedule 5 now this schedule 5 is applicable to managing director hall time director and manager it has no applicability to ordinary director so if the terms and conditions are at variance with schedule 5 approval of central government is required however if the terms and conditions do not vary with schedule 5 we do not we do not require the approval of central government in that case now comes rule 7 rule 7 of appointment and remuneration of managerial personnel rules 2014 remuneration of managerial personnel rules 2014 now this rule states that it talks about the application basically it it, it says that the application for obtaining approval of central government should be made by company in form mr2 form mr2 and the application shall be made within 90 days of such appointment so if the company has made an appointment of a managerial personnel today so within 90 days of appointment it has to apply to the central government for obtaining the approval and such approval such application has to be made in form mr2 now next thing that comes is notice for the board meeting or general meeting to contain certain disclosures so the notice that will be sending to the members for the approval what all should be included in that notice we're going to cover that now so notice of both of of both what notice of board meeting or it could be notice of general meeting it shall contain certain disclosures the first one being the terms of con- terms and conditions of the appointment of managerial personnel first is the terms and conditions second is the remuneration that the company will be paying the remuneration payable to such managerial personnel and third is any other matters other matters other matters could be including the interest of a director or directors in such appointment if there is any okay so now comes a case that the appointment is not approved in the general meeting appointment not approved in general meeting so there there, there could be this case right the board of directors appointed a person then that was subject to approval by the members in general meeting now 
the when the general meeting was conducted the appointment was not approved in general meeting what will happen in that case now where the appointment